Hey, I saw the movie Lucy over the weekend. Do you know we only use 10% of our brains? That's a myth. Along with the fact that that movie's good. Today, we're going to talk about the five myths of .NET. Before we do that, please like and subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified of all our future great content. Now let's get on to myth number one. If you've been watching our channel a lot, you know that we are a .NET coding bootcamp and also a .NET consultancy. And you can imagine we talk about .NET quite a bit. So in our comments, we get a lot of questions surrounding myths around a .NET. Specifically, don't we understand that .NET doesn't do a few things? Now, the first myth that we get quite common is that we needed to understand that .NET only runs on Windows. Now, what we know for sure is that is patently false. That is a myth that has been given out over the years. Now, maybe 15 or 20 years ago, that was the case. But if you look forward to 2022 and forward, that's no longer true. .NET applications, specifically ASP.NET MVC applications or .NET Blazor applications or any type of web application that you built on top of .NET can be published to ISS, Windows hosts, and any Linux host that you can imagine. And it can be done that with or without containers. In fact, inside of the bootcamp, we routinely publish our students' applications to Heroku using that same method and running .NET natively on a Linux host like Heroku. So .NET can be published anywhere, but it doesn't just stop there. .NET can also publish Windows applications now with .NET MAUI to Mac OS. You also can build mobile applications using Xamarin or .NET MAUI, and that may allows you to target Android and iOS. So .NET now can run practically anywhere, and that is the promise of .NET 6. And in 2022, many companies will be taking advantage of that. So will .NET run everywhere? Of course it does. It's been doing that for quite a while. So myth number two that we get a lot is that only large corporations use .NET. The startup down my street or the small to medium-sized company does not use .NET. Therefore, my job prospects are limited if I invest my time in learning the platform. And that's simply not true. Now, of course, large companies all over the world are using .NET. Names that you know, like Chipotle, Stack Overflow, these companies are utilizing .NET ecosystem to build the applications to service their customers. But there were studies done that 46% of all development pretty much was done by companies that had 50 or fewer employees. And that should give you a lot of comfort. If you spend the time learning .NET, then you can be assured that there's going to be a job ready and waiting for you. In fact, we did a, a search, a real quick search as we're filming, and there was 90,000 .NET developer opens in the U.S. at the time of this filming. So is it worth it to use .NET? Will you only be stuck in corporate America? No. Companies large and companies small are all using .NET, so you can learn it with confidence. On to myth number three. Now, one of the myths we see quite a bit is people saying that the .NET isn't open source. Now, this myth comes from a pre-2014 where Microsoft was a closed source shop, but since 2014, they have open source the so software utilizing a company called the .NET Foundation. Now, this private company oversees all of the open source efforts for Microsoft and the .NET framework ecosystem. And just about every project inside of .NET is open source. Now, one thing I want to bring to your attention is the power of the community being able to extend what .NET currently doesn't do. And one of those projects we've seen is .NET MAUI is now being extended to work on Linux desktops. Now, Microsoft originally wasn't going to do this, so the community stepped in utilizing the open source nature of .NET and is now extending that so that .NET MAUI can deliver to the Linux platform. And that's the power of open source and .NET and Microsoft are fully committed to this endeavor. Now, one of the big myths surrounding .NET is that it's bloated and slow. And if you've kept up with the .NET core innovations, one of the things that David Fowler came out, one of the architects at .NET, said that performance was a feature. And when you start looking at the performances that it's coming out of .NET 5 and .NET 6, it's nothing short of amazing. In fact, .NET 5 is 10x or 10 times faster than Node.js. It is the fastest, most used web framework in the business according to the Tech and Power um, benchmarks. And that means that your application will run really fast. Now, what's encouraging is we're now seeing people taking their web API projects and moving it to .NET 6, and they're seeing another performance increase 
where just by porting it over to .NET 6, your applications are running faster and using less memory. What does that mean for you? That means a company that has deployed their application to Azure or AWS, that their compute costs are going to drop, their performance is going to go up, and that's good for the companies, and it's also good for you. Because if the company knows that they can implement a .NET solution while simultaneously lowering their compute costs, guess what platform they're going to adopt? They're going to adopt .NET, and if you know .NET, that means more opportunities for you as a developer. So is it bloated? Is it slow? Absolutely not. In fact, it's very, very fast. Hey, if you're here learning how to code and you're not getting as far as you would like, maybe you should consider getting a teacher, a coach, or a mentor to help you along the way. At Coder Founder, we'd be honored to help you into that first software job by teaching you .NET, one of the most in-demand web development frameworks there is. So go to learn.coderfoundry.com, get a teacher, get a coach, and learn how to code and get that first software job. Now, our last myth actually surprises me quite a bit that we get this question on our channel a lot, and the fact that .NET isn't free or it costs something to, to use it. And I think this comes back to the olden days when they licensed SQL Server or they licensed something else, and they assumed that there was a license for .NET. Well, fast forward to 2022, .NET has no license fees at all to run it, either in the commercial or obviously in your development or your private use. So there's never been a licensing uh, problem with .NET. Now, the other problem we had was tooling. Sometimes the tooling can be expensive with Visual Studio, but Microsoft has offset that with a free version of VS Code, which you can code .NET with. They also have a Visual Studio Community Edition, which is 100% free. Now, there are some cases where if your company makes over a million dollars or something like that, that they will ask you to buy Visual Studio, but Visual VS Code will always be free. And if you're using the command line tools, to build things with .NET, that has always been free as well. And so everything's included in all these platforms to make .NET free to use and free to build on. So does .NET cost money to run? Not really. It is absolutely 100% free for you to use, for you to build, and to build that next app. And that means for you as a developer that companies are more likely to adopt this because there's no cost associated with running it. So .NET being free is a definite bonus to you as a developer. Now to sum this up, .NET is fast, it's open source, loads of companies are using it, both big and small, and it's free to use. So you can start with free tools, the company that you're working for can start free, and that means more opportunities for developers. And .NET, absolutely, with Microsoft behind it, is going to push this further and further into all the enterprise companies, large and small, and that means opportunities for you as a developer. So should you use .NET? 100% yes. Should you go back and watch the Lucy movie? No, that's a myth. It's not a good movie. But .NET is well worth learning. I hope this helps. Good luck and keep coding.